master production scheduling is our next topic so today we're going to cover the topics master scheduling items and connection between master production scheduling and MRP let us start with a business example important materials that are critical to planning should be planned separately to normal MRP with great attention paid to them so in any company for example there are some critical products uh, they can be critical because of X Y Z reasons for example uh, they require some special resources or probably they are too costly to to build or could be some other reason so they are you can call it important or critical materials because of X Y Z reason so you want to plan them separately in your planning system so that means you do not want to plan it uh, via MRP but you want to have a separate system so you we can use the master production scheduling for this purpose so let us start with master production scheduling so in this uh, picture you can see for example some materials are red so you can see uh, says for example you can see this material here in red so this one got a bomb so this is the first bomb component here there's a first one first level of bomb this is also the first level of bomb and then you have a second level of bomb here here and also for this one you have a second level of bomb here so you can think like the top level product is here in this case is the critical product so anything which is marked as red is a critical product so we have a, a critical product and that is that has a bomb level but only the top level is critical so not only the top level can be critical but in some other scenario you can see here some of the bomb components item can be critical as well so what we want to do is we want to plan the critical items separately from MRP so let us start with this one practically so what I'm going to do is I will be creating a fresh material here I will call it um, MPS demo MPS stand for master production scheduling and I can copy it from a different material so description I will call it master production scheduling demo and keep pressing enter and we need to stop at MRP one tab so here the only thing different in the MPS material is that the MRP type we use is different and that behave differently so I will show you in a minute how does it behave differently but for now all these uh, M0, M1, M2, M3, M4 they are the MPS MRP type so I'll select M0 which is the standard one M0 and uh, just keep copying the data press enter and save so I created a material called MPS demo and also I need what I need to do is to I need to create another material at the bomb level so that I can show you the practical how does the bomb items will behave so for this material I will be creating a new bomb level bomb level item so I will call it uh, MPS bomb one bomb item one and this should be using standard MRP so here I will call it MPS bomb item 1 keep pressing enter and in this one we want to keep it as a uh, PD as normal MRP material so only this material is MPS but not the bottom bottom level
so here MPS bomb one is done so this one is your the first one is your MPS item not the second one and the bottom one is the normal MRP item so anything which is PD and all of that they are MRP item so only the first one is different which is MPS item so I'll be creating a bomb as well I will be using this one and here I'll go to CS01 to create the bomb for plant 1000 enter this product enter and here I will be entering MPS bomb 1 MPS underscore bomb 1 quantity I will say 10 what 10 means to create header to create one of the top level product we need 10 pieces of the component so 1 to 10 is a ratio and I will save it now what happens is when the MPS is pretty much similar to MRP but little bit different with MPS we use uh, different transaction to run MPS and the difference is we want to plan the top MPS item as separately that means only the MPS items will be planned but not the child level child level will be planned but not up to the full extent so what I mean is I show you here so to run MPS you, you need you can use transaction MD41 for single level item or you can use MD40 like to run complete like MD01 like MD01 where you need to run complete MRP you can case say complete MPS for all materials so here if you want to see the menu path for this one you can go to the logistics production um, production planning MPS open MPS and here you can see MD40 for everything and MD41 for single item multi-level open that and here I can run the MRP now because there is no requirement let me enter some requirement here so I will enter some requirement I'll so that it can generate some planned orders so I will be entering some safety stock So here I'll enter 50 pieces of safety stock and I'll save it. Now I'm going to run the M MPS on this one. Even if you try to run MRP on MPS material, you can't. I'll show you. If you run MD02 on this item, if I press enter, you will get error. See at the bottom there's error. Material cannot be processed with this transaction because this is an MPS item. You can't run MRP on them. So what we need is we need to run MD41 on this one. So run MD41 and press enter. Press enter again. So similar like MRP but little bit different. Now if I open the MD04 to see the result of the MRP, here you can see it created production order which is fine because of the safety of 50 pieces. The uh, the uh, planned order sorry planned order created is 50 pieces which is fine. Now if I see the bottom level the child uh, bomb item level if I run for bomb item level so that's fine because 1 to 5 uh, 1 to 10 was the ratio to create one of the top level we needed 10 pieces of the bottom child level so they proportionally it's gene genetic requirement for 500 pieces because to create 50 pieces of the safety stock of the top level product we need 500 10 times the pieces of the bottom level and accordingly it generated the planned order for this one so basically what it does is so let me come back to this one when you run MPS on everything or on those product what it will do is it will generate the planned order for the child level so whatever the child level is it will be generating the planned order but the only thing it will not do is whatever changes it will generate the planned order here as well so I'll call it planned PO planned order but the difference is if you make any changes in this planned order here it will not make any changes to the child level planned order because uh, 